Hello everyone, Bernick is here, Retro Roots, we get a root of all gaming. I'm here with Jonathan, and we are playing Assassin's Creed Origins, right? No, we're playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey today. Odyssey. Oh, I had the wrong one. Yeah, this one is the, uh, the, the Greek, and, or not the Greek, I shouldn't say Greek, the Athens and Sparta and stuff like that is where it's kind of based. So this is the one I've seen in the commercials a couple of weeks ago where everybody was like fighting in the square and like Medusa was there and the gods and stuff like that. I haven't seen any gods or anything yet, but I'm sure there's, well, I'll take that back. There is a couple things that i found so far, but I don't want to spoil anything um, in case anybody actually wants to play it. I mean, it's a pretty game. It is very pretty. Um, and I do like how they kind of went more in the RPG mechanics. So I gotta find out where this animal is. There it is. Oh, that was a dire wolf. So, was that experience points you just got? Yeah, you get experience and stuff and everything else. Wow. Um, the, the, Some horny goats. The good thing about this game um, is, of course, the way it looks. It's really pretty, stuff like that. Mm. The bad part of this game is the load screens. It's miserable. So you could spend a good four minutes waiting for the load screen every time you fast travel or anything. So what I'm going to do here is... Do the crab walk with the crabs? No, I'm going to make sure it's night and I'm going to sneak into this camp and I'm going to kill all these guys here. You know, the last time you made sure it was night before we did something. See, surprisingly that's really quick. But if I fast travel right now, we're ridiculous. So let me go up and mark. Oh, they got something going on over here. Oh, they're attacking one of those wolves. Hey, that's uh, kind of the system from, uh... Uh... Damn. Oh, they're attacking a bear. There's a bear and a wolf. What is going on over here? They're gonna see me. So much activity that's going on. So what I'm gonna do... This is thrilling, but I'm gonna wait and see if... The bear kills everybody. Well, no, I think the bear must be part of their group because so it's not attacking. So it's giving you a level system like uh, Shadow of Mordor. Yeah, it's, it's kind of the same thing, similar to that. The uh, I'm not going to be able to sneak up on everybody because I've got animals here. Is that normal though for them to have animal pets and stuff? Yeah, some of them. And I can get, uh, that bear is probably going to fuck you up. Oh, what have I done? Did you just die? No, but I'm about to. And you just saved. Wow. Now, there's another issue here. So, your R3 and R and L3 buttons, mm -hmm. if you're holding R3 mm -hmm. and you ac accidentally hit the L3, mm -hmm. which is pressing this now, it puts you in photo mode. Because people are taking photos, and you can take photos, you can edit them however you want, and then it populates them on the screen uh, worldwide. So other people playing the game can see your photos. So what you're about to see here, like I said, is thrilling. It's the gigantic load screen that we have to wait for. Is it because it's such a big game? Yeah, but Red Dead Redemption 2 was Equally 100 gigabytes. Big. This is about half of that. So they give you these things to read, and I've read them probably a thousand times. Yeah, it's the same stupid... The tips that you could probably use like once, and you're like, oh, okay, I get it. Yeah. So that one wasn't too bad, so... But it took me back to where I was earlier. So I'm not even going to mess with that. I'm just going to find something else. Now I want to pull the map up right now, but I know you're going to make fun of me. But it would be nice to see where I am. Pull your map up. As long as you don't do inventory maintenance. So this is your map of the world. It's a cool looking map. And it's very textured. It's very, here, it's very big and almost too big. Almost Skyrim big to me, where you, there's just too much stuff going on. So yeah. I've probably spent 30 hours in it, 35 hours in it, and I've only uncovered this much of it. And, but there's so many quests in here. And when you level up, um, once you level up, you might be in a place where your level 20 is where you're fighting. But I went to a different island, I leveled up, and now I'm at 38. So even the place I was earlier, they scale up to my level. So I can't go back to somewhere that I've been and 
and just kill all enemies easily. They're they're all going to be close to my level. So I'm guessing all the same mechanics are here as far as leap of faith and uh, having to get to a very tall point to unlock new points. In the no, well, they don't do that anymore. So. Um, so how do you unlock new maps? It's all random now. So you bump into people. Like I may play this whole oh. game and never run into a mission because I didn't go to a particular place. So they took that mechanic out. You still climb things, and but all you're doing is making your your bird. I'll go up and do the eagle eye thing. And yeah, and it makes it where you can see things further away. Oh. So this is a just a random encounter. So what's our story? So. I was thrown off a mountain. Well, they were going to throw my sister off a cliff. And, uh, of course, my mother was trying to stop him, and I, who I thought was my father. And I don't want to give too much away. Mm -hmm. um, I tried to stop him, so he ends up throwing me off. But I don't die, and I end up being raised by this guy on a different island. And he raises me to be this kind of a soldier type. And then, of course, this, something happens, and it leads me into this big quest where... I'm out to find my mother because oh. I realize that my mother's still alive. So this one's easy. It's all yours. All I gotta do is pay this one money, and I get to finish that quest. Some quests they'll send me on errands and stuff like that. That's kind of a bullshit quest. Yeah, that one is. That's a pay to play. So you, so there's no more really leaps of faith. So you can just jump off stuff and not die. Well, now that I've acquired a special ability, yes. You know, initially, if I fell too far, it would hurt me really bad, but... So do we have special powers? We've got a few. Like, godlike powers or just like... Uh, are you trying not to give away the whole story thing? <laughs> Apparently we don't have the power of climbing. But I would, you know... So here's a town. So you got whole towns, you got town. I mean, this is pretty big, right? Yeah, the first part of it, like, devastation, but that's actually a palace over there, so yeah. Well, you've got the your small towns, you've got your small towns, and then you've got your big towns, so there's Athens and Sparta and stuff like that, and those are huge towns. Yeah, the big cities. names that you know from Athens and Greece. And but all. even that town there was ridiculously, you know, big. It, it's, for a regular game, you know, it would be a normal town. But in this one, like, I'm going to take us to Athens right now because there's more going on in Athens. So you can see that. Right there, I was on a smaller island because I'm trying to complete some quests. I'm trying to kill off. I'm really looking for the cult. I'm trying to kill off a bunch of the cult members. Kind of like... Um, um, Mordor game. Yeah, when you, when you do that... Oh, excuse me. When you do that little spy thing and it showed all the levels above them, and then it showed the gold one obviously being the leader or the boss or whatever. I mean, that's that's really Shadow of Mordor right. to me. Does the boss call you out like they do? No, they don't have that system in here. Um, any you, of those camps and stuff. Gravewalker! You've got your captains and your pole marks. And those, you kill those off, and you basically each area. I'm not on the Spartan side, oh and I'm not God, on the Athens side. Screen. I'm telling you. This is ridiculous. So the game is weird. I can go kill, you know, folks from Athens and stuff like that from their army. And then I can go into the next town and they won't hurt me. Huh. And then in, I can go to the kill Spartans because I'm not on either side. So it's kind of weird that in that mechanic. But if I do too much damage, then the wow. bounty hunters come out after me. That's a crazy view. So this is Athens. So you still got this right here, pretty much the same. Yes. So I'm not really going to do any missions or anything. I think what I'm going to do, since we're making this video, is I'm just going to start murdering folks. Yeah, I was about to say, let's do something fun. So let me you missed him. Yeah, let me just kill this guy. You want some too? Ah, come over here! <laughs> Ah. Now watch as I'm killing folks. My bounty hunter level is going up. So, 
that 12 92, was that damage or is that experience points or what? Damage. Okay. At some point they're going to start. I'll get so high that my. They know the banding hand is everywhere. And they're probably way above my level too, so they'll be after me. So, as far as weapons, what do you have? Alright, so. I can carry two different types of swords. Right now, I carry my not my daggers and my sword because I like those the best, and I've mm -hmm. leveled those up. But you've got everything from heavy blunts, big axes, staffs, spears, anything that you want to carry. I've got besides this trident that I got in a place, but I can't use it because my level's not high enough. That's what I say. That thing looked like it was pretty st uh, stacked. And then I've got my legendary bow that I have acquired. So, they don't know I'm here, so let me... Ah, mister! Wow. There is no automatic aim. Ah, die, you bunch of bastards! So, you said your bounty level goes up, which means all these people start coming out of the woodwork to kill you. Yeah, the big guys will start coming after me. And then I got my special moves that I can do. But I like my daggers. Since I've gotten these, yeah, I really enjoy these daggers. So what do you do to make your bounty level drop? You can pay it off. You can go to where the bounty, uh, the leaders are. You can kill them. Alright, so here's one of the big guys. I don't know what level he is, so... Ooh, 39. He's not too far away from me. If they're red like that, you can't dodge their stuff. Damn it! I don't need you over here. And my eagle helps me out, as you can see. Yeah, you're not really damaging me. Huh? Yeah, he's strong. You need to get that other guy out of your way. Yeah, he's in the way. See how? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's that's annoying. annoying. Oh shit, he's got throwing weapons. Can you knock him back in his gas? Oh, he's real. Ooh. Yeah, he's strong. Wow. He killed the shit out of you. But I've spent a lot of time on just going doing just menial little quests trying to unlock this, to unlock that, to unlock this other thing so I can find out where a particular cultist is because you can't just find them on the map. you got to unlock all the clues that let you uncover their location so that you can go and assassinate them so you keep working your way up till you get to the main one. All the while you find caves, you've got boat missions that you can go on, um, just, you can kill pirates, um, just too many things to do. You can be focused in on one thing that you want to do, mm -hmm. and you're like, I'm going to do this before 4 o'clock in the morning. You know, I play it for 7 hours and I never do what yeah, I want yeah, to do. That's because, the way to, well, that's the whole point of these games is just the free world, and, you know, be like, oh, I'm going to go over here and do this. Or you'll see a mission and you're not. I'm going to do that, but it sends you on 10 different things. You know, talk with this guy, go talk with that guy. This guy wants this particular thing, and it's frustrating. But it's pretty. See, I've got this thing unlocked for now. I flip when I hit the ground. So I don't have to worry about hurting myself anymore. See, I, I played, um, well, a few friends played the first couple of Assassin's Creed. And I just, I just, the first couple ones were just boring to me. Very basic. Well, they've gone, come a long way. I mean, once they added in the, the role playing mechanic into yeah. it, where you can level up and you can upgrade your weapons and everything else. No, no. It wasn't, it was, uh, whatever the one was, it wasn't Black, it was the Black Flag, but I don't remember what the name of that was. Assassin's Creed 3 or 4, where you're the pirate. Man, I, I'm holding this down here. Um, four. Four. Yeah. Now, I played it, and I really enjoyed it. The whole part where you can upgrade your ship and the yeah. cannons, and you upgrade your little yeah. pirates. Like, whoa. Let me jump off. Can you? What happens to oh, the horse? It doesn't die like Red Dead, so that's good. Wow, that horse. That's like the horse from Gumby. All right, now that he's down here, I'm... Get back up. Come on. I say you don't die. I watch him die. That horse looks Yeah, I kind of might have dropped him a little too far that time. That horse is dead. You can whistle all you want. 
Come on, horse! <laughs> wow, that horse died. Um, and I wasn't that big to him, but then when I played the pirate one, it was pretty cool, and I played the shit out of it. I um, unlocked all the stuff, I upgraded my pirate island, got the best ship, um, unlocked all the outfits, because I, I just really enjoyed it. But then I didn't play the next one, and I saw um, the one where you're like in uh, London during yeah. like the Industrial Revolution, and you're like wearing the Abe Lincoln hat. I yeah. thought that was really cool, and I was like, man, I love steampunk stuff. And uh, apparently that game was horrible, very buggy, uh, just bad, because I've watched a lot of reviews of it. And well, I, mean, I think all, all of the Assassin's Creed have bugs. Like this one, for instance, has a lot of bugs. Like that dog disappeared. Right. He wasn't there a second ago, and then boom, he pops in there. I don't, I don't know if because of the size of the game or well, it's a big game and the graphics are really good. So I mean, it's a lot of moving pieces. Wish I could get on that donkey. So there's just so much to it, and, and this one. I think the popularity of Black Flag kind of played into this one because it's a mixture of yeah of origins, but you also have your ship. And speaking of, where is my ship? I don't remember where I docked it. It's in the damn islands. There that is it's a lot of islands. Oh, God. All right, well, let's take this load scene. Good time. Stop the episode. All right, verdict is Jonathan Retroot. See you next time.